Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to another quality video from appliancevideo.com. Today we are working on this Whirlpool freestanding range. We will show you how to remove and replace the surface element. To begin this repair, we must first remove the cooktop. Stop! Before beginning any repair, be sure to always disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. To remove the cooktop. So you need to open the door, and underneath there are two Phillips screws. And then the cooktop, you just lift up and pull forward, lifting at the rear at the same time. And then set it aside. With the cooktop removed, we have clear access to our rear small element. What we're gonna wanna do is pull the wires off with our own meter set on resistance. We're gonna check each terminal and get an ohm reading. Uh, the reading should be on a good burner between 20 to 50 ohms. We have 45 on this one, so it is within spec. If it was out of specs, what you would wanna do is with a small screwdriver, pull up on each tab on the sides to disengage it from the top of the oven. Flip it over, make note of the numbers that the clips are on, which this one is 18 and 54. Pull the tabs out of the element, because your new element will not come with them. Set your clips aside, remove your element, and set it aside. To install your new element, you're gonna flip it over just like you did when you took it off. Remember the numbers that you took your clips out of, 18 and 54, you're gonna put the clips in the same spot. Once you've got your clips in the element, flip it over, line the clips up with the slots, drop it down into the clips until they snap in place. Hook your wires back onto your terminals. Now we are ready to install our cooktop. To install your cooktop, being gentle with it because it is glass, kind of gently lay it on top and in the back on the frame, there are two little clips that must engage into the top of the panel, or the cooktop, I mean. You're gonna engage them and then slide the cooktop back. So just drop down and then slide it back. And then open up your oven door. Install the two Phillips screws. Now you may have to slightly tap on the cooktop to get your holes to line up. Close your door and this will complete the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.